San Francisco-based Wells Fargo said the office has three people and is the latest step in a steady expansion in Europe, Middle East and Africa, EMEA where it now has 930 people, up from about 600 at the start of 2012. And most are in Britain where it has 721 employees, and its EMEA boss Jim Johnston said that will rise further. And, we've grown more than we expected in each of the last three years. We'll continue to grow because the customer base in the U.S. and here has increasing activity with each other, and we are hoping to gain market share, Johnston told Reuters. And the Aberdeen opening also suggests concerns that business may be put off by uncertainty over Scotland's upcoming vote on independence could be over Donny. Wells Fargo declined to comment on how the September vote might affect its plans. And Aberdeen has been one of the most buoyant areas in banking in the past two years, built on business with oil, gas and energy services firms based in the city. Wells' office is led by Kendall Milne, a former Barclays, Bark.L, and DNB, DNB.OL, oil and gas banker. And Wells Fargo is regarded as one of the winners from the financial crisis and last month reported record quarterly earnings in its highest ever share price. And it last year became the world's biggest bank by market value and is now more than $50 million bigger than its nearest challengers, including Morgan, JPM.N, Ecbc. 601,398. SS and HSBC, Spadotel, yet it is mainly a U.S. bank with a modest international exposure. And we primarily a domestic bank but our American clients are getting increasingly global. It's a consistent strategy, it's following our customers here, Johnston said. And the bank does not break out its European earnings. But Johnston said revenues in the region had grown by at least 10% in each of the last three years. And its European expansion is mainly targeting wholesale services for U.S. medium and large companies and catering to European firms active in the United States. Johnston said Britain topped a survey of its customers two years ago of where they wanted more services, ahead of Canada and China. And most of the expansion is in areas where it is strong in the United States such as the energy industry and commercial real estate. It bought $5 billion of UK property loans last year from Germany's Commerce Bank, CBKG.de. And editing by Mark Potter, and back to top and Thomson Reuters is the world's largest international multimedia news agency, providing investing news, world news, business news, technology news, headline news, small business news, news alerts, personal finance, stock market, and mutual funds information available on Reuters.com, video, mobile, and interactive television platforms. Thomson Reuters journalists are subject to an editorial handbook which requires fair presentation and disclosure of relevant interests. NNYSE and Amex quotes delayed by at least 20 minutes. NASDAQ delayed by at least 15 minutes. For a complete list of exchanges and delays, please click here.